It's a Friday morning, October 14th. I just pulled out the camera a little too late. I just uh, passed George Gonzalez 2448, the little bully boy cop, <clears throat> going the opposite direction. He waved at me and I said, I insulted him as I always do. I hope he turns around and tails me, but I don't think he has the balls to do that anymore. I'm on my way. A lot of cars have to pass me. I'm on my way to the uh, quick stop and take a chance and see if I can buy a new crack pipe pen. Because I hear they have them for sale. I used to buy them regularly there while cops stood and watched. They supervised drug tool sales, you see. But then when I blew the whistle on that, they took my little video down because it was embarrassing to the girl who sells the pens, the crack pipes, and to the cops who witnessed. And when I called them on the telephone months later, and uh, a prank calls, I said, I'd like to buy a crack pipe pen, please. She says, oh no, we never sold anything like that here. He just lies. But I was talking to a friend the other night. He said, oh yeah, they sell them. So it's been six months. Perhaps she won't remember me or another girl will be on duty. And perhaps I can buy one. Then again, maybe they won't have any. But let's see. Then I'm going to go visit uh, the new doggy park. It should be open today. And take some pictures and do a walk around. All right, it's up. Uh it's uh, October 14th, a Friday morning. I'm just going to see if I can buy a, a crack pipe at the convenience store around the corner, the quick stop. There's Sergeant Carter. There's my girlfriend right there. Oh, I hope she's going to the quick stop. <laughs> These least favorite cops of mine, I just keep running into them. But she knows me very well. Okay, here we are at the quick stop. This is where I used to buy crack pipe pens while Officer Frank Torres 7137 hung out and watched along with other cops. It's a nice store. Cheap wine and beer. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off, go inside and test my luck. Okay, I just bought a glass pen, $5.50. It's perfectly legal. I'm not showing her face. I got it at the quick stop. Okay, thank you very much, dear. This is Reed Walsh. You'll see this on YouTube, okay? Thank you. Okay, folks. Sorry for my shaky camera. I get all trembly whenever I get in close to anybody like this. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I just bought this inside the quick stop, $5.50. It looks like a a pen that you can write with, but you just gut it, it takes two seconds and put some copper chore in it and put your piece of crack in it and you've got your crack pipe. You need to have a tool in order to uh, smoke crack effectively. It's a very nice drug. I like it myself occasionally, but I'm not going to be uh, buying any soon. I may offer some to some of my official cop friends. And when I uh, blew the whistle on these sales activities some time ago, like I said, they got all embarrassed. They took my video down and then they claimed, oh no, we never, we never sold crack pipes. Liars. So what you do, you come to the quick stop and you just go to the counter, they speak English, and have a five dollars and fifty cents in your hand and say, I'd like a glass pen. And she'll give you one of these. You take it home. And I'll show you how you turn it into a crack pipe and have a nice time with it. Okay, I needed a new one. Well, I'm done with my little uh, shopping trip here at the Quick Stop. I got my glass pen and I told a couple of witnesses what I did and how coy the cops are. I didn't have my camera turned on. George Gonzalez just, just came by on his bicycle a moment ago. I mean, on his. There he is. There's George. Ho, 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 ho. Let's go, let's go visit George. I know, I know his car number. It's the same as, there's his bicycle on the back of his car. He also rides uh, with a thud buster. Let's see if I can chase George down. I really can't because my heart won't take much uh, hard pedaling. But he'll probably be cruising slowly. Oh no, he disappeared. Where did you go, George? Into the parking lot? 
you, you just zipped up around the You didn't want me to catch you with the camera. All right, well, we'll go by Mark's house and then to Home Depot and buy some propane. Then back home, and I have to rest after these little rides. And I'll make a video. For a fat little pig, George, you certainly get thin in a hurry when I'm out with the camera. While I'm doing this, I'll talk a little bit about Coconut Grove again for people who aren't familiar with our village. It's really a nice place for cyclists. There's a group of cyclists turning onto Virginia, going into the heart of the grove. And I'm going to make a left here at the fire station corner and just go by uh, my old ex-pal's house, Commissioner Sarnoff, and see if the doggy park is open. Well, it's October 14th, Friday. Here I am at Mark's place. The park is open. People are in the park taking a look around. Yes, good morning. See yourself on YouTube. It'll be called Sarnoff's New Private Park. Hello, Mark. You can't get this guy to spray you? Like, yeah, yeah. We, we can go and put a cap over here. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations on the new park, Mark. We finally get to talk. We have some issues to work out, Mark. I'll be making a tour of the park some other time when you're not here. You know, there's a 500 split restraining order for you. No, there isn't. No business being closed. To you. Mark, that's a lie. If there were a restraining order, it would have been served to me. I would have been called by the. There hasn't been served to me, and there's no letter, and there's nothing. I've done anything Two wrong. Judges have served a restraining order. On you. You're full of nonsense, Mark. You put a gun on my head. You had a cop come out to shoot me. You know what? I'm going to be on your case for the rest of your short career to come. Watch for a new video. Have a good day, Mark. No, not another video. More and more videos, Mark. You're a public official and you can't be defamed. Enjoy it, Mark. Enjoy it. It's going up. There is not, Mark. There is not, Mark. You're a liar. I'm harmless and you're a monster. Okay? I'm going to go on my way now. Goodbye. You need to unlock your bike. It's on, for, for, uh, it's on, it's on a public side. Okay, I'll do that. Go ahead, sir. You're the guy that gave false testimony against me at the garbage truck trial. I'm going to be on my way now. Goodbye, George. I'll see you on YouTube, George. You, the guy with the little gun. You just assaulted me, George. You just assaulted me, buddy. You're on camera now. He grabbed the sign from my hand and chased me. Pulled it from me. He's a little bully who doesn't care anything for the law. I gotta save this video card. This police brutality. It's just I can't get over it. It's so shameless. Okay, a safe place to cool off and, and calm down. Good morning. I need protection from the cops around me take, again. No, I'm not turning it off to you. Right? George Gonzalez, 2448. That sign you just ripped from my hands, that was my property. I'm going to be removing all of those illegal signs. Don't try to buffalo me or bull me. Or don't invade my space. I'm reporting it to your superiors. Let's see if they can be men, because you can't. And Sarnoff, enjoy your new video. It's all the truth. I'm harmless, but I'm going to be a pain in the neck for the rest of your lives. You thieves thugs and monsters who are cops and politicians. Too cheap to even return a phone call. Okay, it's uh, Friday, October 14th. I just got home from what I expected to be a quiet, peaceful bike ride. It turned into another terrorizing episode. You know, they're so shameless. I'll have to explain in another video, because I'd like to get this one up. It'll take time to edit. Just why the cops don't like me, and why I have good reason to shag the cops. Mark Sarnoff protects them. He ordered one of them to come out here to invade my space. You can see that at Miami Home Invasions, a video I made about a month ago reenacting the attacks. But today, I think you'll be able to see something of an attack, although it was rather mild. They simply chased after me and stole a sign I had pulled down, an illegal Sarnoff sign. Mark, I have about 40 of your signs. I'll have 10 more tonight. You don't have any restraining order. I've never threatened you.
I've never assaulted a person in my life. I'm not dangerous, Mark, except to your lost dignity. You thug. You mafioso in a cheap suit. Running suit today. You didn't run, did you? You just ordered your cops to try to grab me. Gee, Mark, I'm so disappointed in you. Okay, time to make a video.